In this video, I'll be breaking down a simple ICT strategy that actually got me a £7,500 payout and I'll show you proof in just a second. Now, I spent hours and hours watching through two and a half hour long ICT videos and I know a lot of you cannot do that. That's exactly why I'll be breaking it down in literally a 10 minute video right now for you guys. And if you cannot sit through this 10 minute video, then there is no hope for you in trading at all. Okay guys, I'll be breaking it down in the most simplest form and this is exactly how I trade, taught exactly from ICT, broken down in the most simplest way possible. Now if you guys don't believe that I actually took this trade myself, as you guys can see in our free telegram, this trade was taken, explanation of why I got taken and then it also followed with a payout, as you can see here, $7,600 from funding pips. Now. Before I actually get into that side of the video, I want to show you guys the whole strategy on how I actually got this and the exact trade breakdown on how I was able to actually take this trade. So first things first, I want to actually mark out everything in a checklist for you. So it makes it so much easier for you guys to actually follow this mechanical strategy. First things first, what times are we actually going to be trading this strategy? It's either going to be a London open kill zone, which is from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m or a New York open kill zone, which is gonna be from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now the timings that I'm actually referring to is gonna be in New York timing, as ICT actually does it, so it's much easier for me to actually explain that way. Now if you wanna change your trading view to uh, New York timing, toggle the time, to, uh, time zone button at the bottom right corner of the trading view and go to UTC minus four. Or you can simply just convert this timing into your local timing. Now, what are we going to need in order to actually have this? set up play out for us okay so first things first we need a liquidity sweep we then need a market structure shift and then we need an order block or a fair value gap it's that simple now the pairs that you can actually trade this on is euro usd gbp usd or gold and gold is one of my personal favorites just purely based on the fact that the risk reward they actually gives you now this is all the strategy is going to be i'm going to be showing you guys exactly this whole breakdown of the trade that I actually took right now. And like I said, I have every bit of proof in our free telegram that this trade was taken prior to when the trade was taken before it even hit TP and why we took this trade. Now, if you want to see so many trade ideas, please join the telegram in the link below. There's going to be free trade ideas and whoever comes from YouTube will be passing a profit for them for absolutely free. Now, either that's 100k, 200k and We'll be passing it completely free for you in just celebration of my most recent payouts and um, the rapid growth that we've actually had. We also have a paid mentorship, as you can see here, where we have everything that you need to know to our strategy videos, to all the concepts that you need to know for ICT. And the best part about it is it only costs $49.99 for a lifetime membership. I don't even think you can get dinner for that price at, at, at this minute. So... If you guys do want to join, the link is going to be in the description below. However, most importantly, let's jump back into the video. So, first things first, right? How was this trade taken? So, first things first, we know that we need to be trading in London Open Kill Zone or New York. Now, one thing is if you win a trade in London Open Kill Zone, I do always say if you win, do not start trading in New York and don't give back your profits, okay? So, first things first, right? prior to our session start and this was the um, ASA session prior to our London open kill zone as you can see here I do use this indicator uh, which actually marks out session time and as you can see this is London 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. and then we have 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. now you guys can add this indicator it is called KZ boxes oh sorry I didn't mean to put KX KZ boxes um, by David and uh, ICT KZ boxes and if you want to um, use my settings these are the settings that I use okay guys so this delineates it out for you already so what we have here we need to mark out our area of liquidity prior to our London session so first of all there's our London session starting so prior to that we need to mark out our liquidity area we have these Asia lows here to mark out as liquidity now how easy is it to mark our liquidity in the most simplest form you can simply use uh session highs and lows that's the most simple way to put it okay session highs and lows hold so much liquidity now what you want to do is mark out the liquidity error so that's either liquid so we have our buy side liquidity and our sell side liquidity marked out so we're actually going to be chained in the 15 minute time frame to start with okay guys do your analysis on the 15 and then i'll show you guys the entry the entry is going to be on the five minute okay so 
let your uh, session start so got London has now started we simply just wait for our buy side or sell side to get taken so whilst we are waiting we do nothing and as soon as one of the sides get taken is when we are in hunt mode okay guys so as you guys should know under sell side liquidity there is buy stops and above buy side liquidity there are sell stops so as our sell side liquidity got taken we automatically know that we are looking for buys okay we now know we are looking for buys however what do we want to see in order to actually get our entry so once our liquidity error is swept you want to jump into the five minute time frame once you've jumped into the five minute time frame what are you looking for you are now looking for a market structure shift so we've had the liquidity sweep we are now looking for a market structure shift so first things first uh, i can remove this liquidity area now we need to mark out this higher now as you can see we are actually getting the market structure shift right now so if i reverse one candle so this candle gave us a mark structure shift as you guys know we had this high being made now how do we know this is high candle before and after is lower than that swing point high now we are awaiting a market structure shift in exactly what this candle has done so once we get the market structure shift now what are we looking for an order block or a fair value gap now i love using order blocks it's just my personal favorite preference you guys can use fair value gaps if you want to so First things first, you want to mark out your order block. So as you guys can see here, we have a nice down close candle before our move up marked out as an order block. And as you guys can see, I'll show you guys in just a second on our telegram um, that the entry that was actually taken. So first things first, you want to mark out your order block, right? Once that's marked out, uh, let me just open up my telegram just so I can show you the exact entry that I actually got on um, telegram. Give me two seconds. So yeah, as you can see here, we had an order block entry on um, on the five minute time frame. As you can see here, five minute mark show shift, and then we had the retracement to order block. So once we have the order block right, this is exactly what we are hunting for entry. We simply wait for a retracement in, bang, and then we execute. This is exactly where my execution point was, as you can see here, right? Execution point. Now, what you wanna do is just have stop loss slightly under the low, so you can have that just under low or at the low. My, mine personally was at the low. Um, just a nice tight stop loss and you can target opposing liquidity. So you can possibly target this last up close candle, um, which is probably where price is going to stall next. So all of our criteria have been ticked and it's as simple as that. And then from there, you just watch your take profit get absolutely smashed. That's a one to, almost a one to five risk to reward ratio getting smacked in literally under an hour. As you guys can see here, uh, I was targeting 2314, which is exactly what we hit here, as you can see. And that was the trade. How simple, what a simple strategy, guys. Okay, guys, so make sure um, you do smash a like on this video. Drop a comment if you do need any help. I can, I'll can, i get back to you guys, every single one of you guys. Any questions, do drop in the comments. And remember, do join our free Telegram. Whoever comes from YouTube, simply message our app and we'll get back to you um, and we'll pass our 100k 200k 50k prop firm challenge for completely free of charge just in celebration of my most recent payouts in our telegram we sure we share so 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 much as you can see my ftmo payout um so much free value of our mentorship uh when our next trades are going to be i recently took a trip to dubai and got some got myself a few uh, um pieces but um yeah do join that in the link below hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah hopefully i helped you guys out